Bom dia everyone. So, last week, Dirty Max Stinky requested that I do a video for the UWOT base uh, receiver for Express LRS. So, this is the video that I'll be doing. We're going to address the RX loss issues that you probably will have. But first and foremost, I do not recommend that you flash your flight controller with Better Flight 4.4 unless the manufacturers themselves highly recommend that you use the dump file which is better flight 4.4 if not i would suggest that you stick to the original firmware and if it's 4.3.1 or 4.3.2 i recommend that you highly use that one to prevent any issues with better flight 4.4 it might work for some but it won't work for all i have been saying that for the longest time and there are people who actually had great success with better flight 4.4 on these uh, aio boards I personally was one of those who didn't have any success with it. I keep getting the RX loss issues when I'm using the Better Flight 4.4. So today we're going to look into the UART base AIOs. Then this particular one is the Crazy F411. This is the new version with the Express LRS. It comes with the IPEX connector antennas. And this one's the Cross F4 AIO, and this one comes with the copper antenna. I really like these copper antennas because they're surprisingly good, and though the range may not be absolutely fantastic, but it is good enough for Whoop or Micro that would actually get about 700 meters-ish. I got mine close to 900, almost a kilometer. There is also the Crazy F405 HD, and that's the one that's on the Mobula 8 DJI O3. So one way that you could actually do to get your Express LRS working is to use the presets on Betaflight. And we're going to choose 500Hz Express LRS because most of my quads are 500Hz. You, you can choose 250, 50 if you want to for flying long range. It's all solely up to you. So we're going to go into the Happy Model website. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in cross F4 in the search function. And then we're going to look for the dump file. We open up the dump file and copy the dump file into your CLI on Betaflight. I highly recommend that you use the original firmware that comes with the flight controller or the quad itself. So that you spend less time troubleshooting and more time flying in this hobby so that you may enjoy it more. So these steps should help you with the RX loss problems or any issues with your receivers. And um, if you follow the steps, you should be able to minimize whatever issues you have with your receivers. Also, if you do have any issues, please join us on the Discord channel and we'll try to help out as best as we can. Alright, next we're going to go into the Express LRS Configurator. Make sure you have the latest version of the Configurator. And the latest version for the Express LRS is V3.3. And choose the correct specific type of receiver that you have. In this case, for the Cross F4, it's an EP1 or 2. So we're going to choose that one. And don't forget our binding phrase. And we could choose to do either Better Flight Pass-Through, UART, or Wi-Fi. So I'll be using the better flight pass through and that's because I will choose build and I want to be able to physically put the file into the express LRS receiver itself. Next we're going to bind the quad by plugging in the LiPo and then we'll have to wait. While waiting we're going to check on the Wi-Fi and we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi which says express LRS as you can see over on the top right hand side here. Then once connected you gotta wait a while before this join express lrs rx pops up and then we're gonna use that file that we downloaded and update the express lrs receiver so it takes a little bit of time but you just have to be patient and wait so if you have set up your binding phrase, the quad will just bind almost immediately. And um, do check that you have all your motors in the right orientation and right direction. Also check that the quad is turning in the correct direction. Left is left, right is right, up is up, down is down. You can make the changes in the configuration tab and by adjusting the angles, you gotta see what you have and just double check that on the setup tab. Once that is done, we're good to go. 
Another thing you want to take note of is the model match. All you need to do is either turn on or turn off, or turn off and turn on, whichever applies, and your receiver will be bound. It's strange, but this model match has been a known issue, so use that as one of your troubleshooting guides. Okay, so we're out on the field. This is the uh, Cross F4 with the UWAT based receiver. After going through all that flashing process, it's now time to fly. As I mentioned before, it works for some but not for all. It's some had great success with the Betaflight 4.4 flashed onto whatever quads that they have, but not for some. So you might get RX loss and signal interference on the Express LRS, but otherwise this is the way, this is the way. to get things to work. Now we'll do a kind of range test because I'm quite limited by range. I could go like as far as the field allows me to go and that's I think about 400 meters ish over that way. We'll check, uh, we'll check and see on the video and on Google Maps. But all in all, I don't have any receiver problems with the flight controllers and SPI receivers or UWOT receiver quads. All the flight controllers are all good, great signal, no issues yet. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check this out. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for today's video. If you do find the information useful, please do give a like and subscribe. It will really help us a lot. So, till the next one, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.